Greetings, users and programs. This is Atari Living Sacrifice bringing to you the next session of the Let's Try series. Today we are going to try the Night of the Rabbit, a Daedalic Entertainment point and click adventure. I've really been enjoying a lot of their stuff recently and this one looks awesome. The art, the play style, I'm fired up to play this. So let's let's get going with it. Bright light, bright light. And so it begins. My apprentice's finest hour. The dark side. We're bringing him to the dark side. In the room. First, we got to bring him to the light to show him the dark or something like that. If only I had been there. Where? I could have prevented it all. But I thought you just said you wanted to bring your apprentice to the thing that we're talking about. What are you talking about? He's got a cool top hat to cover his bald spot. Well, it went dark. Ooh. Ooh, what's this? What's this mean? A stranger can guide you through the mist. A strange glade, a legendary tree, a figure dressed in black, and a traveler's case. How mysterious. Yes, mysterious, yes. So, is this me? I thought I was the rabbit. Alright, the soundtrack is awesome. Sounds a lot like Braid. Odd figure. I am the rabbit. Oh, who are you? Who are Can you? Can you not speak? Um, I don't know yet. Hmm? hmm? Does that mean you don't know? You don't know if you can speak? I don't have my mouse. Are you lost? Uh, not yet. No, not lost. See, I can speak. Oh, so you're looking for the beginning of your story. Yes. He takes a long if time to find respond. you a beginning. You'll know where to go from there. Hmm. <laughs> you have no idea how lucky you were to cross my path. You're right, I don't. I know a lot about stories. I hope you aren't just here to steal one of mine. If it's a good one, maybe. You aren't, are you? Uh, you take so long to respond. All right. To Am I talking back or not? We must look for something that feels like once upon a time. Look for something. Follow me. That feels like once upon a time. Whoa! Do I do what you just did? So I think the rabbit is the apprentice of the bald guy. Let's walk over here real quick. God, it kind of looks like the secret of Nim. Uh, kind of scary looking. Maybe. I guess I have to follow him right now. Odd figure. I can't click on that little clown looking, weird looking there thing. There you are. Now we just have to find your beginning. Even if you lose yourself. It might be at the top of my head. can be found anywhere. And only those who start can find their way. Ooh, and you wise words from the odd figure. It. A beginning smells like the air in spring and the hope for more. A beginning is... I think you already know. I don't think that's what Endings, I smell. on the other hand. Well, we can worry about those later. Do you understand? Yes, I do. I take so long to really? answer. It's been a long time since I've met someone with such a keen intellect. I could just be <laughs> saying yes. You never know. <laughs> Uh-oh. Did you hear something? Yes. He's just shaking his the head no. must be playing tricks on my imagination. <sighs> it's gotten cold, don't you think? Well, I've got a jacket. You should bring a jacket next time. And fur. Maybe you should grow fur, odd figure. That looks like a tiki symbol of some sort of voodoo thing in a bobber. Voodoo doll. Are we gonna jump There's down? Your beginning. It's really lucky you stumbled upon me. 
I don't think you, you would already. have found your beginning all by yourself. Well. You look familiar somehow. Maybe it's the ears. You might recognize my ears. I'm sure we shall meet again. Unless the fog thickens more, I can't see the hand in front of my face already. But somehow you can see my face to see that I look familiar. Ooh, we disappeared into the mist. Strange fellow. Ah, he's calling me he strange. Reminds me of a character in one of my old tales. Like the rabbit in the hair, or the tortoise way. in the hair. Not even I could say where he'll end up if he doesn't, or when, even. <laughs> so, let's help his beginning along a bit. Ah, this beginning rhymes. I must note it down right away. I wasn't paying attention to what was rhyming. I think he's crazy. This might be like a... an Alice in Wonderland type of setting. After a long summer day in a place not far away, Jeremiah Hazelnut was tucked in bed to dream of the dream that he always had. Of having... Each Such a night hot mom. To his mother, Jerry did say, I want to be a magician one day. Abracadabra. Each night she would reply, as mothers do. One day, sweet son, your dream will come true. You can be anything you want and to be. As mothers do, she whispers, Good night. Soon Jeremiah Hazelnut would sleep tight. Maybe you shouldn't have named him Jeremiah and Hazelnut. So he might have had a better chance. As dreams sometimes do. The dream that he had would come true. Ooh, I'm gonna have magical powers. The Knight of the Rabbit. They might be brothers. They might be brothers. It looks like this game might not have been made in the US. People have some more cool names than just like Smith. Card game designs. There's a card game in the game. That sounds awesome. Matt seems to be the leader of the brothers. Jerry! Jerry Hazelnut. Jerry! Sounds like a drink. Uh, uh yeah? What do you want, um? Wake up, sleepyhead! Oh, oh no! I I am I going to be late for school? Come outside and enjoy the sunshine. <laughs> you don't want to sleep away your whole summer vacation, do you? <laughs> it's summer vacation. Let me sleep summer in just vacation. a little bit. Jerry, school starts the day after tomorrow. Oh. You don't have to worry about your things until then. I still have two days before school starts. Yay! No school, no school. I've still two whole days of adventure left. So much can happen in two days. Still can't use my mouse though. Like we do every day with our morning calisthenics. It's our program. Start the day fit and cheerful. Hup two, hup what two. on earth is this? Usually it's the top 40 playing all day long. The crows must have overdone it yesterday. There's not a single one in the sky this morning. What a beautiful day. Beautiful. Crows? But don't just sit there and rust or you'll just make it easier for them tomorrow. Okay, follow my lead. If She's you talking don't about listen like to our program, man. then go ahead and start your day any way you like. Imagine a small X floating in the air. You can click on it to drop out at any time. Ooh, this sounds magical. Wow. When he says it like that, I can practically see the X floating in front of me. <laughs> but why would you want to drop out? What? You think you already know everything? Yeah, smart Alex. Touch the radio. Touch the radio. A mouse pointer. Move it to the radio and then click with the left mouse button. Ooh, this sounds cool. So, at least if he's got a the British English accent, he has a much better chance of becoming a successful magician. Don't you think? All right, so we're going to touch the radio with the left mouse button. Good job. Well done. <laughs> Child's play. You can tackle anything. I can anything touch just things. Like Looking, talking, using, running around, just click on it. One click. Everything is just one click. Yeah, yeah. What is happens if you double click? Or what? Now, let's try it again. 
because you didn't do it right the first the time. Yes, that thing where our voice comes from. Talk to the radio. Once again, just click on it. Okay. Oh, so it makes the little symbol, the talking symbol. Uh, I'm not talking to a radio. Uh, huh. I'm not talking to a radio. Yes, you well, are. That would be a one-sided conversation. You did very well. Thanks, but how? One click. Everything is just one click. Did I you got notice? you. How your muscles and sinews stretch when you click on something? Doesn't that feel good? He's right. I ought to do morning calisthenics more often. <laughs> You're probably Finger calisthenics. I ought one, to do two, morning one, calisthenics two. more often. Man, he's good. And you know what? What? You, you finger push-ups now. It's our program. Start the day fit and cheerful. And on we go. Some things can be looked at and picked up. That's good for the back. So keep looking at things and picking them up. Now find yourself an object to look at. Hmm. How about that basket on the window? Sir? Now let's go look at our hot mom. Found something to pick up? Go ahead then. She seems single. Let's go. Let's go look at hot mom. Ah, it's gonna make me look at a basket. That's the way. I That's got a basket. Good for the back. You are now carrying the basket. In my you open the inventory by scrolling down with the mouse wheel, or by pressing the I key. Man, I... oh man! Now let's try it again. Have a peek in your inventory. I, I, Just scrolling down. Your inventory. You can Feels carry a so lot good. more around in here than you'd think. And carrying objects around is healthy. You can also look at them. To do that, click on them with the right mouse button. Let's look at things. Ah, nice basket. Hey, looking with the right mouse button works really well. Looking with the right mouse button works really well, doesn't it? How does Absolutely. he do that? And now we'll try the left mouse button. Use the left mouse button to take items out of your inventory. Left click on the basket. Alrighty. And now... Oops. The handle fell off. Uh, that isn't supposed to happen. Normally, you would just pick the basket back up. But don't panic. Remember, there are no problems, only challenges. That's right. You're bound to repair that basket in no time, for sure. Use the left mouse button to select items in your inventory. That will allow you to use them with other items in your inventory. Use one inventory. of the items with another one. That will get your circulation going. That's not what we're going to do now. Uh, if you didn't pull a muscle, just open your inventory again. Or press the right mouse button to place the item back into your inventory. What? Remember, right. there are no problems, only challenges. You're bound to Please don't make me listen to that again. No time for sure. Use I didn't click anything. It just automatically X'd me out. That will allow you to use them with other items. Use that. Okay, one. I can skip. All right, so left click, and then uh, my finger is so challenged. Ah! Uh. There. Whoop. That wasn't so hard. True. I'm a magical it was easy. fixer man. And do you notice how your pulse is calming? Feels good. To Remember, if something women don't find you handsome. Yeah, it does. They can at least and find you handy. For the next step. You can also use items with your environment. Left click on the basket and then carry it out of your inventory by moving it past the inventory's edge or by ah. pressing the I key or scroll up with the mouse wheel. Okay, so we click and scroll out. Very good. That's all we gotta Try do? showing the basket to a beloved family member. Hmm, who should I show the basket to? Let's go show I it to hot mom. hanging up the laundry in the meadow in front of the house. Man, he's good. Yes, he wow. is. It's almost it's kind of freaky. Use your basket with your mother by moving the basket to her and clicking the left mouse button. All right. Jerry's mother. How does he get to oh, her? Oh, Jerry, as you've got the basket. Go yeah, and I didn't break go it Go do chores. That's fantastic. Could you go and pick some blackberries for me? Since for? you got the basket. For blackberry pie. Of course. Ooh. Oh boy, pick blackberries, check. He must like blackberry pie. Congratulations, you've completed your fitness program for today. And remember, a simple leg cramp could cost you your life when you're fleeing from a wild crow. Huh? Wild crow. Stay fit, stay cheerful. Mousewood Radio now continues with the leaf fall report. I'm guessing there's going to be <laughs> Never heard crows of that. as enemies. It must have something to do with sunspots. All right, 
so we have finished the tutorial the tutorial and uh, I think now is a good place to pause it because something usually happens right about now once we move on, move on to the next screen or something like there's a there's something stuck in a tree over here and you know so we're gonna look through this main screen a bunch and do all the searching that we do in point-and-click adventure games so until next time y'all keep moving forward we'll see you on the next one